we want to determine the derivative of the given function f of x equals cosine of sine of cosine x. Notice how f of x is a composition of three trig functions, and therefore we'll have to apply the chain rule to find the derivative function. The outermost function is this cosine function, and the inner function is a composite function sine of cosine x. And therefore to find the derivative, we'll let u equal sine of cosine x. By letting u equal sine cosine x, we can think of the original function as just cosine u and differentiate cosine u with respect to x. Notice the derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative sine u times u prime. So again, if we let u equal the inner function or the inner composite function of sine cosine x, the next step is to find u prime or du dx, where u prime is equal to the derivative of sine of cosine x with respect to x. And again, because we have a composition of functions, we need to apply the chain rule here. Let's let the inner function be v, where in this case, the inner function is cosine x. The derivative of sine v with respect to x is equal to cosine v times v prime, giving us u prime equals cosine of v, which is cosine x times v prime, which is the derivative of cosine x with respect to x, which is negative sine x. Let's go ahead and write this as u prime equals negative cosine of cosine x times sine x. So again, going back to the original function, we have f of x equals cosine of sine of cosine x which again, because u is equal to sine of cosine x, we can just think of this as cosine u, and therefore f prime of x is equal to the derivative of cosine u with respect to x, which once again is equal to negative sine u times u prime, which is equal to negative sine of u, which we know is sine of cosine x, and then times u prime, which we just found is negative cosine of cosine x times sine x. Let's see if we can clean this up. We do have a negative times a negative, which is positive. Let's write the derivative function as sine of sine of cosine x times cosine of cosine x times sine x. I hope you found this helpful.